Hello, welcome to this unit on broadcasting the news. In this first video, we'll describe broadcast journalism and introduce some vocabulary we need to talk about broadcast journalism. In the second video, we'll talk about specific roles people have in delivering the news on television, the internet, or radio. Let's start with the term broadcast. Broadcasting is the process for displaying the news this way. Broadcasting means to use a video camera or microphone for radio and send that recording to television sets, radios, and computers all over the world. We can use this word as a verb, noun, or an adjective. Channel 3 broadcasts the news twice a day. Here, it's used as a verb. We can also say, the Channel 3 news broadcast is on TV twice a day. Here, it's a noun. This unit is on broadcast journalism. Broadcast here, an adjective, describes the type of journalism. In broadcast journalism, journalists deliver the news using videos that are shown on TV or on the internet. Broadcast journalism also includes the radio. In this case, there are not images, just voices of journalists and their radio guests. Creating news for television, internet, or radio is similar to print media, but in many ways it's also quite different. For example, instead of creating a newspaper, television, radio, and internet shows are generally called news programs. A program is a regularly scheduled broadcast news show. Generally, these programs have names like News at 10, which tells you what time you can watch it every day. Another example is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. The name of this program reminds the viewer what channel they're watching and also gives the name of the lead journalist. Many times news programs are live, which means we're seeing and hearing what broadcast journalists are saying at the time that they're saying it. There's a lot of pressure to do everything right, since everyone's watching. Now let's talk a little bit about the structure of news stories for television, internet, and radio. A segment is a news story that's broadcasted rather than printed. As we discussed in Unit 2, printed news stories, of course, are articles. When we talked about print media, we talked about the process of outlining, drafting, and editing with a copy editor before a story goes to print. In broadcast news, the draft is called a copy. A copy is a script or written text of what the journalist is going to say. This must be approved before it's broadcast live on television, the internet, or the radio. It's important that broadcast journalists don't broadcast segments that have mistakes, because similar to print journalism, making mistakes with the news can cause people to stop watching. People may have trouble trusting the accuracy of those news programs. Just like print media, sources and information must be verified. Once the copy for a segment is approved, it's sent to a teleprompter. A teleprompter is a machine that shows electronic text so that journalists can read it. When we see journalists speaking on a news program, they're actually reading from a teleprompter. To summarize, we've been talking about the vocabulary we use when discussing broadcasting the news. Next, you can see an example of an internet news broadcast. It'll be a good time to test your listening comprehension of broadcast news. Then, we'll learn about the people who work in broadcast journalism. You can test your knowledge of this new vocabulary with a game.